Um, my name is Matt Smith. I'm an employee here at um, Jug Sports. And I'm here to show you one thing, and that's how to remove this tire from this machine. Before we start to remove the tire, it's very important to know that you unplug the machine before you do this. You never want the machine plugged in because you could accidentally go like that and turn it on. So, One of the most common questions that we have um, in the service department is, how do I remove my tire? So I'm going to show you. All you need is this. This is a 3 16 Allen wrench. You get this inside the, inside the box that you received the new tire in. So what you do is that you have the tire and then you have the rim. These are attached. One of the most common mistakes that people make when they do this is that they see these and these are called the lug bolts. They immediately think, hey, I should take these lug bolts off. But that's not how to do it. What you do is if you look inside of here, there's two little holes and there are bolts in there. There are Allen bolts. And that's where this comes in. So all you have to do is take this, get it on there, and you just turn it like that. And then you do it one more time. You don't have to remove the whole thing. A lot of people do end up removing the whole thing, which is completely unnecessary. So you just do it a couple half turns. And what this does, what this hub is, is just two halves and it just tightens everything up. That's what these bolts do. They just simply increase the tension here and they just hold on the motor shaft. So after you loosen these up, you just take it off and bang. And then when you get the new tire, you don't have to remove this hub. You can just keep this on the old tire and then you take the new tire and you simply put it on the same way. So you simply go like this, make sure it's all the way down, and then what you do now is you just simply tighten it up here a couple more turns until it's, until it's um, maybe a little bit past the snug point. You don't want to over tighten it because you could break it. So you just tighten it up. And another common thing is that over time, if this, a lot of times when people call, they have their machines outside or it's in a barn or something like that, and rust can get in this area. And if it's rusted, you won't be able to remove it like this. There's a trick. So you simply loosen it up again in case it's rusted. And you take a standard screwdriver, a flathead screwdriver, and a hammer. In this gap here, you simply take the screwdriver on the edge and you just hammer it in a little bit. And what that does, that expands, that expands the hub so you can take some WD-40 or any kind of lubricant and spray it in there. And once you spray it in there, you can take it off. So there you have it. I hope everybody has a nice day.